Hello everybody, my name is Gianluca Elia and I'm currently studying sound and music computing in Aalborg University in Copenhagen. This work is a generative instrument called Squidback, which is based on audio feedback and comes together with its own participative performance concept. Its main characteristics are an adaptive filter bank, the absence of user accessible parametric control, and a web audio implementation featuring remote audio sharing. I will briefly describe the technical system before we move on and talk about performance and interaction. Starting with the sound processing algorithm, its core idea is to provide positive feedback to sustain the manifestation of Larsen tones and negative feedback to constrain the most dominant resonances, promoting a variety of generated tones. Its main challenge is to balance the autonomy of its behavior with its sensitivity to the environment, which is where interactions with the users can happen because users can uh, affect the environment by changing the distance between speakers and microphones or by putting objects in between them or putting the system into different uh, resonating spaces. So the algorithm begins by analyzing input sounds in the frequency domain, first by an FFT and then by applying a triangular filter bank to reorganize spectral information in MEL frequency bands, better approximating a perceptual frequency distribution. For each band, a gain correction is initially computed as its difference from the average level. Only negative corrections are considered, since it was preferred not to give positive gain to individual bands and rather use a main positive gain for the whole spectrum later in the processing chain. Negative corrections are then further adjusted by a coefficient depending on whether the respective bands were increasing or decreasing during a number of past frames. Increasing bands are given a smaller gain correction, while corrections for decreasing bands are flipped in sign to account for common feedback behavior where an increasing band will probably continue to increase and a decreasing band will probably continue to decrease. The system tends to resonate at a small number of dominant frequencies if its environment stays unchanged. So, to help it change sonics over the course of a performance, facilitating the emergence of new tones, it has been found beneficial to gradually penalize bands that have already been given negative gain before. In order to do this, a small fraction of reductions computed for each frame is accumulated in memory as a persistent correction, a trace of past reductions, further increasing negative gain. Finally, to remove any constant gain across the whole spectrum, the minimum reduction across all bands is removed, so that the filter works more on frequency balance than absolute values. After the analysis, the input signal is filtered by a bank of filters, which center frequencies and gains correspond to the analyzed bands. Filters are backwards, with the lowest being a low shelf, the highest an high shelf, and all the others being peaking. The last processing stage is an automatic main gain acting as a slow compressor or limiter so that the magnitude of the loudest analyzed band approximates a set threshold. When the system works with remote participation, it's only after this stage that sounds from remote participants get summed to the input. It was chosen not to process against such signals to let each instance be most reactive to its local inputs, thus affording more room for user interaction in physical space. Although the system doesn't display any parametric control, it provides a visualization of its state as a dynamic bar graph, displaying spectral levels and momentary and persistent corrections. Here is a short video of the application in action. Performances with Squidback are gatherings 
where people meet either in the same space or online via remote audio sharing and explore the system and their relationship to it for a length of time. While organized gatherings constitute performances, Squidback can be also run as an installation users can join and leave independently at any time. It can be set up in a physical room, optionally including resonating objects, speakers and musical instruments, or is otherwise always available online as a permanent web installation. The absence of parametric controls invites to a more contemplative attitude, taking attention away from screens and command strategies to focus more on the environment, challenging habitual usage patterns for smartphones and computers. Performances have a decentralized character inasmuch each instance of the process is independent from the others, communicating only through the environment and through sound. Furthermore, when performing in a physical space with mobile devices, such devices constitute an array of speakers that moves through space, a moving collective soundscape without a preferred point of view. Quidback has also been used as an instrument in improvised electroacoustic music settings, and it has been included in choreographic and installation works by other artists. Its most appreciated qualities have been its portability, consistency and ease of use, together with its generativity and its capability to embody and inspire reflections about mutual influences and agency between sound, space and bodies. An account of such experiences, together with comments from some of those artists, is reported in the paper.